Hello! Today's video, I am just basically going to be showing off my Disney ears collection because uh, I love Disney. Um, I love Disney headbands and what I also like is money, so I don't like paying full price for them because these are like ridiculously expensive, like original price. Some of these can be up to like £35 for a headband. So... <laughs> I'm not paying them kind of prices. Most of these are either presents or ones that I've bought that have been on sale. So, this one, this one is the uh, the Lunar New Year one. Um, it's really, really nice. It was on sale on the Disney website. I think I only paid about £6 for it. Um, and I love it and uh, it is part of my collection. This one... A bit of a weird one because it doesn't have a solid headband. It kind of goes on like this. Um, and this is one that came from Disney World. Um, my, my best friend bought me this one um, when he went to Disney World uh, at, a, at a, a shop where they sell sort of some of the older stuff um, off like cheaply. And I really like this one. It's very pretty. Um, this one is the Pride Ears. Um, again, this was on sale. Um, but yeah, these are the ears. The glittery, the rainbow, they're a little bit iridescent, per iridescent, pearlescent. I don't know. It, it's cute and it's glittery and it, it has rainbow and so that is cute. But it's not the glitter that comes up on your hands, which is the key important thing. This, probably the most expensive one I have. Um, this one I didn't buy, but again, my best friend bought me it. And this is my Loki one, and I love it so very much. Hello, we have a cat. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this one. It is like probably, probably one of my favorites. It's really hard choosing a favorite because I love all of them equally. But this one, this one for sure, it's one of the top ones because I do, do love myself some Loki. Um, oh, uh, I'm getting into the Christmassy ones. Right, so I've got three Christmas ones. This is one. And this was a, this was on sale last year after Christmas. So I like it. It's, you know, the classic Christmas pepperminty swirly things. I really don't need your help to do this video. Thank you. Um, and, and yes, yeah, so it's, you know, it's nice, Christmassy. Then I got this one as well on sale. Um, these are like, um, like gingerbread mini type cookie things um, on the headband. And again, it's extremely cute. I really like food ones and it was actually completely gutted because I had my eye on a donut one for months, months. I was looking at this and I was like, it's so exciting. Expensive. It's like £30. It's so expensive. I can't afford to spend £30 on a headband. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But I was checking it every single day. And then I didn't check it website for like three days. And they went on sale and they were reduced to £16. And I completely missed out on the sale. So uh, they don't sell them anymore. And now I'm gutted that I didn't pay the more expensive price for the donut ones. Uh, because I really, really, really wanted the donut ones and I'm really annoyed. Anyway, this is another Christmas one. This was like a lounge fly one, I think. But again, this was on sale because you're not paying full price for the lounge fly ones unless you've got stupid rich person money, which I definitely do not have. So yeah, this one is get it's it's nice. I kind of like that you can wear this um, outside of strictly Christmas because it's wintry. It's got like the tartan ribbon. And it's got like like snow and sleds and things like that. So yeah, like where there's the Christmas cookie ones were definitely Christmassy. That one's a bit more wintry. Um Halloween. Uh this again on sale, Haunted Mansion. Um so that's one side of it. And then the other side of it has the skeleton thing. and this does actually uh, glow in the dark which is really cool um, I didn't put these safety pins in this is actually how it came um, I have been 
on Haunted Mansion Ride, that's a plan. I have been on Haunted Mansion Ride a couple of times in Disney World, it was quite fun. I think we went on it twice. Um, I haven't got to go to the one in Disneyland Paris because it was shut when I went, so yeah, but Haunted Mansion, that was fun. Um, this is my other Halloween-y one, which is like the orange ears and then the little the little witch's hat. Um, I think, personally, personally, they could have done one without the bow and it would have been a little bit more unisex for everyone. But um, this was a, this was actually produced for Asda and the, for sale again this year, but I think I bought this two years ago. Um, so they just recycle them. Um, this uh, was again on sale, uh, it was like £12 I paid for it and it's um, again one of like the uh, the posh lounge fly designs but I really like it, it's so tropical, like if I was going on a Disney cruise I would definitely bring these kind of ears if I was going somewhere like nice, not like a Disney cruise around the Outer Hebrides. Um, this one Again, it's proper Disney, but I think it was only like five pounds in Primark. Um, but it is official Disney licensed, and this is very mini. I really, lo I do like this one very much. I, it's uh, it's very nice, it's very pretty. Um, it's it's very firm as well, especially when you compare like this one to the Asda one that's very thin. Um, these ones were with a, it came with a mini mouse a bag and a book and these ears and uh, these are official disney they're a little bit more basic uh, <laughs> but this might be the kind of thing where if you were planning on going to like one of the posher restaurants in disney you might be like well i can just just, just slip this off and put this in my handbag and then no one will see it so yes um, and then uh, this again was a recent sale. I think this was reduced to like six pounds and I really like this one. Uh, it's a really pretty design. I think it was hydrangeas. It said it was supposed to uh, emanate. Um, it's glittery, good glitter, not bad glitter and blue. And it's like, it's a bit more, it's a bit more like posh. Is that the right word? Is that the right word? I'm thinking like it's a style one rather than a theme one. So it's like like a high fashion-y type one, but I like this one very much. And then the last one, the last one that I have to show you is this one, which again was on sale. It was reduced to like six quid, um, which was great because I really, really, really love this design. Um, I love the flowers. I love the pretty lace. I love the colours, and again, this is like a fashion-y one. Um, so in my collection, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen headbands in my Disney headband collection. Not a one have I paid full price for. Other people have bought them for me, but those were presents, so they don't count. Um, but yes, so this is my Disney ear collection. Now, it's hard to say favourites, it really is. Um, this is actually a favourite. Uh, I, re I just love this one so much. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this one. Um, as previously stated, the Loki one, which has mischief on the side, uh, in case you're wondering, um, the Loki one, absolutely just, I just love this one so much. I knew if it did actually have the donut one, there would be no question the favourite one would be the donut one, but I never got it and I'm so disappointed. Um, I really, really do like this, like, Lunar New Year one, but I feel like um, like I feel like I would have to wear like a red outfit and I don't often wear red to, to wear this one so it's not like a favourite favourite and I don't really like the pride ones but like of the Christmas the Christmas ones um, I think 
I think my favourite is actually this one because I really like food, um, obviously. Um, so yeah, uh, of all my headbands, this one is my favourite. Uh, of the Christmassy ones, this one is my favourite. And out of like the fashiony ones, this one is my favourite. And that is my Disney headband collection.